Hi guys, as you can see it is a lovely evening here in the collapse of everything. Good Lord, on this gray gloomy Sunday in the collapse of everything. Is it the end of September or is it? No, it is Sunday, September 29th, 2024. Almost three quarters of the way through. It's a lovely year, and uh, guys, I don't even know why I bother doing these uh, people who never should have been born getting their black asses uh, out of there to Honkyville round a uh, uh, rant. I just, I've been doing these for now 16 years, and I guess... Uh, <laughs> I, I guess those folks over there in Sub-Saharan Africa just aren't listening. They're just not listening to reason. And uh, so we're just going to, uh, since, well, I guess if you count the uh, Hurricane Helene news, there's nothing but Doomer news all over the, uh, the, the internet. I can't remember if I let you, did, did I tell, I don't know, I can never remember who I'm talking to, that my brother in Fort Myers, for the second time in two years, uh, has, has been flooded out by a hurricane, and his daughter lives in Asheville, North Carolina, so my brother and his wife got destroyed, uh, when was it, uh, on Friday morning, and then, uh, my niece got equally destroyed uh, the very next day. So that's what's going on in my, my own family with that. But not counting uh, Hurricane Helene, it's been a little tough to find any mention of the collapse of everything. So I'm just going to uh, fall back into the old standard uh, people who never should have been born getting their black asses uh, out of there to Honkyville. Let's just do two of these showing up right next to each other. Here from Reuters News. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> wow. Dozens missing after migrant boat sinks off Canary Islands. Ha ha. Ha. Ha ha. <laughs> of finding dozens of migrants missing after their boat sank off the Canary Islands were diminishing, Authority said on Sunday, September 29th, in what could be the deadliest migrant crossing incident from Africa to the Canaries in decades. Patrol boats and helicopters continued a second day of search near the Spanish island of El Herrero after emergency services received a distress call from the boat in the early hours Saturday. Yes. Rescuers were able to pick up 27 of 84 migrants from the boat but at least nine of them, I guess, died in the incident, Authority said, including a child that never should have been born. Yes. <clears throat> Data from the EU's border agency showed that the route from Africa to the islands has seen a surge in migrants this year with more than 21,000 migrants who never should have been born crossing in the first seven months. Uh, I guess this is the good news. This is the good news that three other boats did reach the Canary Islands on Saturday night carrying more than 200 migrants getting their black asses out of Honkyville. But then we have the bigger story next to it from good old AP. 
See if you can uh, <clears throat> notice the word that is never mentioned in this story. Well, two words. One begins with an O, and one begins with a P. Huh. Would you believe that the European Union is failing is failing to dissuade, dissuade, I love that word, dissuade African migrants despite spending billions of dollars, auditors say, and I'm going to put this in uh, U.S. dollars. The European Union is failing to develop ways to dissuade migrants from Africa leaving for Europe without authorization could do more to limit abuses against people trying to make the journey the EU's financial watchdog warned on Wednesday. Uh, the findings come in a European Court of Auditors report into the bloc's emergency trust fund for emergency trust fund for Africa, a multi-billion dollar program set up in 2015 after more than one million migrants arrived on Europe's shores, overwhelming services in Italy and Greece. Now, I think in 2015, those were, those were from Syria. And I think that was what, uh, I think it was those one million uh, migrants getting their brown asses out of Syria heading to Honkyville. Uh, that got, you know, Noam Chomsky to uh, say eight years ago that 20 years from now, what's going on with these one million migrants overwhelming Italy and Greece will not be a historical footnote compared to the flood coming out of sub-Saharan Africa getting their black asses to Honkyville, which is exactly what uh, I would be doing anybody with a brain waking up in sub-Saharan Africa tomorrow. Uh, the first thing on their to-do list is get my black ass to Honkyville. D, D, D. Okay. The fund was meant to help tackle the root causes of migration in Africa. Okay. So according to Associated Press, the king of the mainstream media, what are the root causes of migration from Africa to Europe? They list three. Number one is poverty. Number two is conflict. Number three is unemployment. Now, of course, climate change is nowhere on the list. Environmental degradation, nowhere on the list. But, of course, the words overpopulation or even population. And, and sure as shit, not the word overshoot. You will not find the uh, the word overpopulation, population, or overshoot in any story in the mainstream media with, with all of these people scratching their heads, trying to figure out what is causing all of these people uh, to, to, to come pouring over from sub-Saharan Africa the reason that you are going to have whatever it's going to be uh, over the next 20 years is because they were born. Okay? If those, whatever it was, 84 people or whatever, going to the bottom of the ocean uh, Saturday had never been born, they would not be shark bait 
today. Let, 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 let's cut the crap here, people. Oh, there, there is a, well, uh, okay. What is the root cause of poverty, conflict, and unemployment in sub-Saharan Africa? Okay. Poverty, conflict, and unemployment are not the root causes of African migration to Europe. They might be, you know, up the stem, you know, up the stem. They, they might be branches of the cause. The root cause is because they were born. If the population of sub-Saharan Africa was where it was, hell, uh, e even 20 years ago, there would not be this many people uh, coming uh, to Europe and going to the bottom of the ocean. This is real rocket science. You are not going to hear the mainstream media talk about what the, what the goddamn root cause of this crisis over there is. At first, two billion dollars was available to distribute on hundreds of projects, but that amount has now swelled to 5.6 billion dollars today. So taxpayers in the European Union are now paying 5.6 billion dollars, you know, on, uh, I, I, I guess, to dissuade uh, uh, the, these guys from Africa coming over. 5.6 billion dollars. I'm, and I'm assuming this is annually, although it was unclear on whether this is annually. I'm assuming that it is. And, and nowhere does it it does it mention how much is the European Union spending on food aid to feed these people to keep them just strong enough to keep breeding and it certainly does not mention uh, how much the European Union is spending on uh, family planning and sterilization programs. Uh, I honestly believe that if the European Union simply said <clears throat> anybody in Sub-Saharan Africa, male or female, who wants to get sterilized for free, we will, uh, we, we will pay for your sterilization. $5.6 billion if they spent that on, on free sterilizations. Uh, for sub-Saharan Africans, I, I think that you would uh, that you would see a slowdown uh, in, in the migration. Then, of course, uh, what I would you know, if I were king of the European Union, uh, I would make that offer first, and then if they did make it over here, uh, I, I, I would say, if you want to stick around here. The vasectomy clinic is on the right. The tubal ligation clinic is on the left. You get sterilized, and we'll talk about you staying here. Otherwise, we're putting you on a fucking boat and sending you back. All right. Uh, this is, you know, one of the, one of these head scratcher social justice warriors, quote, despite the lessons learned, what lessons? They haven't learned a goddamn lesson. Despite the lessons learned, the commission is still unable to identify and report the most efficient and effective approaches to reducing 
irregular migration, meaning illegal. That's uh, what irregular means. Huh? The commission is still unable to identify the most efficient and effective approaches to reducing migration. Wow. Uh, and this just goes on and on. And then, of course, they, they, they get all into this stuff uh, about, uh, you, you know, the, the human rights abuses that these guys, they're, they're, they're trying to get out of sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, I'm sure they'll take their risks. Uh, you've heard all of this before. Uh, and then they start talking about all the goddamn corruption. Where's the money going? Where is this $5.6 billion going? Uh, you know, the EU is auditing, looking at where the hell the money's going. Nobody knows where the money's going. We all know goddamn well where the money's going. Uh, I get so sick of it. Uh... And here is the the UN uh, getting in on the action, uh, looking at corruption in Libya's migration department and Coast Guard. Uh, wow, the auditors warned of flaws involving the use of funds and equipment meant to improve surveillance and reduce deaths at sea. The International Organization for Migration estimates that around 30,000 people, 30,000 people have died or gone missing, gone missing, trying to cross the Mediterranean from Libya over the past 10 years, so 30,000 Africans at the bottom of the Mediterranean, uh, at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea, this isn't even talking about the Canary Islands or the Strait of Gibraltar, uh, anyway, all of these things, what can we do for more effective solutions? This goes on and on. Uh, anyway, guys, I, 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 I've heard enough of this crap. We, we, we've been reading this. Uh, you know, I went down this rabbit hole in, uh, in 2008, 16 years ago. I, I have been uh, reading this same story 16 years ago. Nobody is going to have the balls, except for a few doomers, you know, these, these racist white males with southern accents, uh, you know, these eugenicist uh, southern white male doomers are, are, are the only people uh, that, that are going to suggest maybe the way to to look at this is from an overpopulation uh, angle and start figuring out how to get people in sub-Saharan Africa to stop breeding. I am available as a, uh, I am available to speak to the European Union Auditors Commission. If the European Union Union auditing this 5.6 billion dollars wants to hear how their 5.6 billion dollars uh, of uh, taxpayers money could be better spent th than dumping it down to the bottom of the Mediterranean Ocean I am available for consultation Jesus you know, come on, planet.
Wake the fuck up. And uh, Noam Chomsky's predictions are right on track uh, nine years into his 20-year prediction. Uh, come back in 11 more years, and I agree with Noam Chomsky that uh, what you're going to be seeing uh, with, with, with this uh, is, is going to make those one million migrants from Syria in 2015 look like barely a historical footnote as everything collapses starting in sub-saharan africa the the collapse of everything just, just like a uh, human started in sub-saharan africa it, it's where the collapse of this planet it, 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 just look at sub-saharan africa what's going on there, and all of the people trying to get the hell out of there. Uh, I might come back, uh, and uh, the, the, my, my other choice of a rant today was to uh, the, this long essay written by a sub-Saharan African describing what's going on in sub-Saharan Africa so uh, maybe we will actually hear from a sub-Saharan African uh, with a fucking brain uh, tomorrow. Not sure if she is a breeder or not. She never mentioned that since she lives in Uganda, my guess is that she is. Anyway, i got to wrap this up because I'm getting hungry. i got a factory-farmed pig with my name on it that I need to enjoy eating before uh, global industrial agriculture collapses. Bye guys.